Hello Sunny Vegas users, this is uh, Brandon Parker with another tutorial. I don't really use Sunny Vegas anymore because I have a Mac and I use Final Cut, but I'm doing a tutorial for everyone who's been asking me a lot of questions on Sunny Vegas. And they seem to not be watching any of my other Sunny Vegas videos. If you don't watch this Sunny Vegas video and you don't uh, uh, n uh, catch anything that I'm trying to tell you, then I might not be doing any more tutorials for you in Sunny Vegas. So please uh, pay attention to my videos and please uh, watch this uh, uh, clip and I'm going to show you how to do it. And if you don't get it... Uh, I'm going to try my best to help you out, but if you don't watch my videos, like I said, it's not going to do you you any good if you don't watch my videos. It's not going to do me any good because I'm not getting the views that I that I want and any subscribers. So please uh, check out my videos, and here's uh, how this video is, and I'm going to show you how to do this video. As you can tell, I added uh, in this clip, I added a lot of flicker and I added a little bit of a motion blur. First, I'm going to show you how I did the uh, flicker. Flicker is very simple to do. All you go, all you do is you go right into Media Generators, and you go right up in here and you go to Solid Color, and you can pick whatever colors you want. The ones I use a lot, if I was to use Sunny Vegas still, I would uh, use like white or black. But I don't use Sunny Vegas anymore, so I use I do something else in my videos. But uh, this is what you would do if uh, you're a Sunny Vegas user. You would probably pick the white or black color. And I did this, and I just split them, pressing the S button. I put my a cursor on it, and I'll just I'll just copy this one. I'll go to copy, and then I go to edit, paste, and I just paste it right on in here. You could uh, resize it, and then you put your cursor on it, and you press the S button, split it. S will split the clip, and then you can make it to that large, depending on how how fast the beat of the song is. This is a pretty fast techno uh, type of rock song, so uh, you would make it pretty small, or whatever. And I'm just going to show you this little bit of a clip right in here and how I did this clip. See it goes pretty fast right in there and uh, if you don't want any lagging, I showed you in a, a few of my videos that I did in Sony Vegas but uh, you must not be catching what I told you so I'm going to be telling you again this will be the last time I tell you because I already said it in my videos all you gotta do is watch them and I'm just telling you that you just uh, to, to make it do that you just uh, press uh, shift B and it won't lag uh, in Final Cut, there's something else that you, you do, and it's a lot easier. It doesn't really lag. Rendering uh, happens in Final Cut, but it doesn't. Uh, uh, it's not the same here in Sony Vegas. Rendering is only when you're doing editing in Final Cut, and you want to see what you did in your editing. And I'll show you that uh, a little bit. Uh, I showed it in a couple of my uh, Sony uh, Final Cut videos, and I'm going to show you uh, a lot more of comparing of the two here in this tutorial with uh, like here like you don't really need all of this stuff to get your flicker and final cut but uh, here in Sony Vegas this is how you do the flicker and this is what it looks like when it plays in real time flash transition just go to your transitions and just the basic you can do the dissolve to white and you can get the flash effect or you can do the flash they're pretty much the same thing and you just you just can do so much here in uh, Sony Vegas but just be careful because it lags a lot and it'll take a lot of work to do your videos because it, it's very time consuming here in Sony Vegas and I just don't really like it that much because I don't like spending a lot of time in here I spend less 
time in Final Cut than I do here in Sony Vegas. A lot of people think Final Cut is really hard when they move into a Mac, to the Mac world. Well, Apple Final Cut is really not that hard to use. And uh, I'll show you a lot more if you're a Mac user on how to use Final Cut if you have any questions. Uh, here, I just, uh, like I said, I added a flash transition and I just made the transition a lot smaller and I just made the clips a lot smaller. The more you close the clips into each other, the more they're going to play inside of each other. I'm going to show you that right now. How I did the clip. Well, first, yeah, see? It's starting to flip right into them pretty fast because the clips are are uh, are uh, cut down to a smaller size and and they're uh, flipping right into each other really fast and also for the motion blur if you want this to uh, pop up is you also uh, what you do is instead of just shift B which will uh, let you see your video without it lagging a little bit which is you add a control plus shift B and then it'll uh, bring up this window right in here for your motion blur and then you go right here you go to insert envelope and make sure that you have a check mark next to motion blur and you can get your motion blur to pop up and then you click that and your motion blur will be this little uh, purple little pinkish line whatever you call it and you could click right on any point that you want to have it the more you have it the more the motion blur is going to happen and the more you bring it down, the more or less it's going to happen or not going to happen at all if you have it all the way down. I suppose you're going to have it all the way, a lot of it, if you have it up. And then I'll show you a little bit, just a small section because it it's, uh, takes a lot on your computer to do a motion blur. It takes a lot of your uh, memory that you have on your computer and it just uh, takes a time consuming if you're doing a lot of motion blurring so you, you might not want to spend a lot of time on your video if you add a lot of motion blur it's gonna get a little boring and you're not gonna enjoy doing your video so I would say just don't add the motion blur it looks nice in, in certain videos if you if you have the energy and the time to do your motion blur but I don't think it's uh, all that good and I don't really like uh, motion blur here in Sony Vegas. In, in Final Cut uh, you can have as much motion blur as you want. You render, you wait for two or three minutes for it to render, maybe like 30 seconds sometimes depending. And people say it's a lot of work in Final Cut but I thought it was at first but I don't really think Final Cut is all that much work uh, as much as you, you have to spend a lot of time in Sony Vegas. And that's pretty much how you do your motion blur make your clips follow each other and stuff like that and that's pretty much it in this uh, tutorial and I'm just going to show you a little bit how the motion blur looks and then that's it and and if you have any questions please watch my other videos I did a video already on how to do uh, follow your clips to a uh, beat of a song I already did that just uh, go to my Masterson 88 channel you go to that channel and you just uh, look at all my videos check them out uh, look, check out my Final Cut videos, check out my Sony Vegas videos, check out my Photoshop videos. Just check them all out and uh, make sure that uh, uh, that you check them out before you have any questions or whatever. Just check out my videos that I've done. And that's pretty much uh, it. And this is how you do the motion blur. <laughs>